With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Write the following equations and balance them. Potassium bicarbonate plus sulfuric acid forming potassium sulfate plus carbon dioxide plus water. So we have to balance this. Let us know what is the balanced equation first. A balanced equation is equation in which the number of entities on the reactant side is equal to the number of entities on the product side. That is, we have to equalize the number of atoms on the reactant side with the product side. For this, we have to convert this equation into a symbolic form. Let us write this equation in symbolic form. What is potassium bicarbonate? It is KHCO3 is potassium bicarbonate plus sulfuric acid that is H2SO4 forming K2SO4 that is potassium sulfate K2SO4 plus carbon dioxide plus water so now we have to balance this equation for this let us make a column let me write symbols here symbols reactants and products reactants and products and we'll count the number of entities on both the side and equalize them so here first let me write here k symbol k represents potassium so how many potassium atoms are there on the reactant side one and what about on the product side it's also no it's two two on the product side so let next is hydrogen h the symbol is h so how many hydrogen atoms on the reactant side three so let us write three here and on the product side h is two next let me count carbon atoms how many carbon atoms one and on the product side also it is one next let me write oxygen atoms let us count the number of oxygen atoms on the reactant side it is 3 plus 4 4 with sulfuric acid and 3 with potassium bicarbonate that's totaling to 7 atoms and on the product side 4 plus 2 6 plus 1 7 and next left is sulfur it is represented by S and how many sulfur atoms on the reactant side it is 1 and what about on the product side also it is 1 that is with potassium sulfate now here the problem is only with potassium and hydrogen there is one potassium atom on the reactant side but two on the product side and hydrogen is also unbalanced three atoms on the reactant side and two on the product side so we need to balance them so let me multiply this potassium bicarbonate with two to equalize potassium atoms so when i multiply this with two what happens there are two potassium atoms and two hydrogen two carbon and six uh, oxygen atoms three into two six so how do i balance it now so now i'll multiply this water also with two because i need to equalize hydrogen atoms also along with oxygen atoms because oxygen atoms have also become unbalanced so let me multiply this water molecule with so what is unbalanced now there are four hydrogen atoms here and two plus two four hydrogen is balanced potassium is also balanced two plus 
2 on the reactant side and 2 on the product side. This is also balanced. What about carbon atom? There are two carbon atoms on the reactant side, but there is one on the product side. So let me multiply this carbon dioxide with the number 2. So now let us find the unbalanced atom. Let us count again. How many potassium atoms? 2. And here also there are 2. Let me write here 2 after balancing and 2 on the product side after balancing. What about the hydrogen atoms? 2 plus 2, 4. 4 on the reactant side and 4 on the product side. So now the hydrogen atoms turn to 4, 4. Now potassium and hydrogen are both balanced. Let me count the number of carbon atoms. There are 2 on the reactant side and 2 on the product side. So 2 after balancing on the reactant side and 2 carbon atoms after balancing on the product side. What about the oxygen atoms? 3 into 2, 6, 6 plus 4, 10. There are 10 on the reactant side. So let me write over here 10, 10 oxygen atoms. And let us count the oxygen atoms on the product side. 4 plus 2, 6. Sorry, 4 plus 2 into 2. 4, 8. 8 plus 2, 10. 10 on the product side. And sulfur is already balanced. That is 1 and 1. So now the number of entities on the reactant side is equal to the number of entities on the product side. Now the equation is said to be balanced. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.